Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? From here, what is given, we can write it and apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, this gives us a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n. So applying this here, this becomes 8 raised to the power x plus 50 raised to the power x now equals to 20 raised to the power x times 20 raised to the power 1. And the next step here, let's divide through by 20 raised to the power x. So we divide through by 20 raised to the power x. Then this side also by 20 raised to the power x. Then 20 raised to the power x we cancel out here. Then what we have here, we can write it when we have a raised to the power n over b raised to the power n. This same thing as a over b or raised to the power n. Then here we now have 8 over 20 or raised to the power x then plus 50 over 20 or raised to the power x now equals to 20 raised to the power 1 there is the 20 then what we have here we can reduce this fraction here 8 over 20 and here 4 can go in 8 that's 2 and 4 goes in 20 that's 5 so that's same thing as 2 over 5 and also 80 over 20 here when 10 goes in each of them that's 5 over 2 here so now we can replace what we have here and this now will be written as 2 over 5 or raised to power x then plus here will be written as 5 over 2 or raised to power x now equals to 20 on this side then in the next step what we have here is a reciprocal or what is here then we can take the reciprocal in that is when we have something of the form a raised to power minus n something as 1 over a raised to power n so now from here we can first write it as that's 2 over 5 now raised to power x then plus here will be 2 over 5 raised to power minus x the minus here is having a reciprocal here then equals to 20 then now when we apply this now then we can write this as 2 over 5 or raised to power x then plus here we become 1 over 2 over 5 or raised to power x then equals to 20 from here then I can use a letter to represent 2 over 5 raised to power x since it is common here so let a letter u now be equals to 2 over 5 or raised to power x then this equation now will become u plus 1 over u now equals to 20. Then we can multiply through by u here and this will become u square. Then u will cancel here, we have plus 1 equals to here, we have 20 u. Then Bringing 20 u to this side and rearrange, we now have u square minus 20 u, then plus 1, now equals to 0 from here. Then from here, I solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a, and here a is 1 b is minus 20 and c is also 1 then here u will now be equals to minus minus 20 then plus or minus square root of 
minus 20 square then minus 4 here is 1 then 6 is 1 then from here all over 2 times 1 then what we have left here we u now equals to 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 square here we have 400 then minus 4 over 2 then in next step this gives us u equals to 20 plus or minus root 396 then over 2 from here then we have u now equals to 20 plus or minus we can separate 396 here as 36 times 11 then all over 2 and uh, we can separate 36 out that means that 6 so we have u now equals to 20 plus or minus 6 root 11 over 2 then we can equally separate this and this will be u now equals to 20 over 2 plus or minus 6 root 11 over 2 and this becomes u equals to 10 plus or minus 3 root 11 so we have two possible cases of u from here then the first one we can write it out as u equals to 10 plus 3 root 11 and the second one also we have u equals to 10 minus 3 root 11 then recall that we represented u as 2 over 5 all raised to power x then when we substitute back from here in this place we have 2 over 5 all raised to power x now equals to 10 plus 3 root 11 then also in this place we have 2 over 5 all raised to power x also equals to 10 minus 3 root 11 then here this we expect to be a positive result also this is positive on this side as well this is positive and also this is also positive <coughs> that means we are going to have you know solution on the two sides so we take the log now log on this side give us log 2 over 5 all raised to power x equals to log into bracket 10 plus 3 root 11 from here close bracket then from here the power law of logarithm this x can be taken to the back here as x log 2 over 5 then equals to log here we have into bracket 10 plus 3 root 11 then divide both sides by log 2 over 5 then also this side by log 2 over 5 then here log 2 over 5 comes each other we are left with x which is now equal to here we can use change of this when we have log a over b over log b here we can write it as over log b we can write it as log a to base b and same thing here we can say this is log into bracket 10 plus 3 root 11 then to base 2 over 5 so here we have the first you know solution here and also on this side as well when we take the log on both sides so similarly from there the log on both sides we are going to have log 
into bracket 2 over 5 raised to power x now equals to log into bracket 10 minus 3 root 11 then also from here the power law of log x come to the back that x log 2 over 5 then equals to log into bracket 10 minus 3 root 11 then close bracket then divide both sides by log 2 over 5 as well then also this side by log 2 over 5 then log 2 over 5 comes each other and here give us as well using change of this we now have log into bracket 10 minus 3 root 11 then to base 2 over 5. So here we have the second value of x in this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget if you uh, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. See you next class and bye for now.